Good news, the mic was muted. Great, no one gets to hear that I didn't know how to play this. Excellent. Anyway, Ash is going to play. The only time they spent with Doom is about 20 minutes with Game Boy Advance Doom like three days ago. So this should be good. Anyway, you're set up with like controls for for the modern era. Um, yep, yep, basically like that. All right. Cool. I'm shooting dudes. So this is Doom 2, a game about shooting dudes. The plot is there are dudes who need to be shooted. Hey, that's very rude. This game is very violent, actually. I'm really good at streaming. I like how I announced how prepared I was to a muted microphone. Ah. Oh, yeah, I bound ah! something. E to open, maybe? Space, no, not space bar, that's jump. Don't jump, by the Why way. Why not? Jumping is cheating. What? Yeah, they added it to to this engine, um, but you can't do it in the original game and it breaks a bunch of stuff, so don't, don't jump. <laughs> but what if I feel like jumping? Then the run is invalid. I already did do a jump. Okay, well we have to start over. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, anyway, this is Doom 2, uh, a game first discovered in 1994. <laughs> first discovered? <laughs> what are you talking um, about? By a man named John, John Doom. <laughs> John Romero Adrian Carmack, <laughs> which is a game that, or a joke that you won't get. Um, I put three different people's names together. They made Doom 1, and they made a bajillion dollars, so they thought maybe they'd make Doom 2. Oh my god! And that worked out pretty well for them. Are you saying you're a Doom nerd? No. That's the exit already? Yeah, you played this map three days ago. I really don't remember. Stop <gasps> jumping. <laughs> but, but I wanna. Please don't jump. <laughs> Why? Oh, this is, Why? this is so embarrassing. What are you talking about? My, my well-respected <laughs> Doom Twitch channel with jumping on Doom 2 map 01. <laughs> this is the, this is, no. What are you talking about? I'm losing all my Doom cred right now. Oh my god! Just let me play the game without censoring me. Wait. The gravity is too high here on Earth. Oh my god, it's dudes. Yeah, so do you want me to like tell you where all the secrets are, or are you just gonna kind of run around? Okay, let me play the game like I want to play it. How do you want to play it is literally what I'm asking. <laughs> um... <laughs> well... If I go to the exit and I haven't found everything, then tell me. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to listen. Alright, here's a hot tip. You can still hit that switch even though it went into the ground. Where? It was on it was on this turnaround. It was right there. There you go, you did it. What why? Because that opens the secret. What? Was that everything? Um, according to the count of secrets, which is one out of five. What? No. How is there so many? Do I just have to hit E everywhere? No, that will actually not do it. Although it will help. I just heard something. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a spiky man. Spiky man. 
They're actually called imps. I need- ah! What an asshole! There you go, he found a secret. Oh, but what does that do? Well, welcome to Doom. <laughs> Ooh, you found another secret, but you don't know where it is yet. What? How can that be? That's all you think about jumping. I really like jumping. But that line blocks you, so you can't do it anyway. Also, you missed the chainsaw at the beginning, so you can't actually get all secrets. What? I missed it? Yeah. What do you mean missed it? Like, it was you, that way? Yeah, you can't get back up. I knew you were gonna fucking do that! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> also, mouse wheel switches weapons. Wow. But so did numbers. Does this have, like... Ammo? No. I can just use it forever? Yes. <gasps> What's my ammo? It's in the bottom right. Oh, I see. Very clever. It's in a spot. <sighs> Is that- there's only- there's still two secrets left? Uh, yeah, dude. You opened both of them, but you have not got- oh, wait. Wait, that's not true. You open one of them. Anyway, I thought it would be boring if I played the game, um, since, uh, as a massive Doom aficionado, I have Aficionado! Aficionado? I don't know, whatever. Aficionado. Sure. Um, I have beaten this game, of course, zero times. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I've never actually played through Doom 2! <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I played through Doom 1 once on the stream, like, last year. Is this poisonous? No. Or, I mean, I guess you could find out by putting your feet in it. What? It doesn't do anything. Why did it say a secret is revealed? Oh, uh, because this outside area is secret. Really? Is there another secret? Um, that would be a secret. Ah! Uh... Don't worry. There's a hint, which is... Absolutely nothing. What's the hint? It's behind you. It's it's that patch of wall that looks exactly like the other patch of wall. This one? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, an imp actually comes out of there, I think, which is like the only hint. Oh. Wow, they gave me so much stuff. Yeah, it's very nice then. All right, cool. We are 3.3% of the way through the game. What? Are you serious? That there's, took so long. There's 30 levels. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't like Doom 4 where there's like 8 levels. Oh no! Oh shit, it's dudes. That is correct. Um, I actually have Hey, a, what's that blue thing for? It gives you one health. What? That's baby's health. Correct. Okay. Um, hey, remember those silver bars that you opened in GBA Doom and I was commenting on how they're not in my copy? Um, nope. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't- Well, that would have been a neat callback. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember you saying that, but I don't remember anything. Oh my god! Yeah, they would have been right there, but they're not. Oh. They were deleted for some reason. Probably because they looked like you're not supposed to go through them. Fuck off, dude. Hmm. I feel like this game is full of tricks. Wait until you get to map nine, tricks and traps. Oh. Where's that eight? Oh, Napoleon's doing cat paws on me. It's eight, sorry, nine is pit. Oh, this hurts. Okay. Well, where the heck do I, oh wait, it's out here. Oh, dude. Ah! I knew that guy was there. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, I should, I don't know, should I say things about Doom? Ow! Do people want to listen to me just say things about Doom? Ow! While you play it? Can you make him not do mean no, things to my I, leg? No, I can't make him oh! not put his claws in whoever he's sitting on. Ow! Yeah, it hurts so bad! H hang on. Napoleon. <laughs> I love him. 
And he loves you with his fucking ah. dagger claws. Ah, get out of here. All right. Sorry. Cat adjustment. There we go. Napoleon, I guess you can sit with me and I'll just bear the pain. So this room was inspired by John Romero's garage when he was 15. Are you serious? No. If you say stuff like that, I'm going to believe it. This game does have a map in where there's a garage-inspired bit, though, so I guess that's not even that outlandish a goof. That guy is an asshole. He didn't do anything. Well, he was there. Oh, yeah, you haven't actually used the chainsaw yet. Yeah, I did. Oh. And he's down side on the imps. Oh, yeah, that's true. You got me. All right. Uh, ah! Oh, here's here's a cool fact. Uh, when they ported Doom 2 to Xbox Live Arcade, I think, someone involved in the port um, added just a fan map he'd made when he was a teenager as the third secret map. Ah! Dude! And the way you get to it uh, is by using a completely just uninteresting wall in that outside area with the little kind of brick house thing. That's kind of cute. Where'd those dudes come from, by the way? Um, I think they're... Wait. I don't know. Oh, I know. Did they, they come from a room? No. Did they I just mean, spawn randomly? Everything's a room. No, stuff doesn't really spawn randomly. Uh, they came from that window that you're shooting into right now. Wait, really? Yeah, there's a How'd they get down here? There's a teleporter in there. In here? In in the room that you were shooting into. Where did it teleport you to? Uh, back to the beginning. Are you serious? Yes. That's so fucking annoying. Well, not for you, because it lets you get back to the beginning. Excellent. I can't... <laughs> uh... Hold on. I gotta do it. It's invalidating the run. <laughs> oh my god! You just back directly into some guys. <laughs> no, no, no! And some more No! Guys. No! No! You were a lot more confident while playing this on a Game Boy. I can't unbind the jump button. They have the keyboard. I am not letting that happen. Also, I don't know how to do that. Um, well, I do through the menu, but that's a lot of menuing. Napoleon, how are your claws so sharp? I don't know. They're they, very sharp. I feel like they were cut like five minutes ago, and yet they are razors. Hey. Ow. Ooh. Oh, it hurts so much. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's just saying he loves me by gently stabbing me with five needles at a time. He's very considerate and kind. Okay. I don't know what this building is. It's one of those just things that's like, you know, obviously, they, they, I don't know, someone just thought, I'll make a building that's kind of outside, like nothing else in the level. What the hell? And I can't go that it? way. I thought it was just a house. You've done this before. You did it three days ago. I cannot remember it for the life of me. I don't remember where it was. Or where the door is I'm looking for. Should, should I give you like a D-pad and an A and B buttons? Would that help? Why, why would that help exactly? I don't know. You were, you were doing better with those. <laughs> I just don't remember what I'm looking for. Go through. Go to the end of this. Thing and through that big hole. But I did do that earlier. Uh, oh, oh, you already got the red key, right? Right. I'm looking for the door. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to have no short-term memory for some reason. Uh huh. Uh, that's back at the beginning, which is Wait, why. Wait, really? Which is why the secret teleporter is helpful. What secret teleporter? Oh, sorry, it's a secret. I thought about co-op, um, but I don't know how we would do the voice bit. We both have. Well, also, Evie would just beat it all. That is true. 
I kind I do I like I've never played all the way through the game, but I know most of the maps fairly well. Um oh yeah, uh this is actually one of the maps that was considered nearly impossible to play on pacifist for a long time. Why? Because of the bit you're about to go into. Uh, uh. The rules of pacifist are that you cannot directly harm another monster, so it usually relies on a lot of infighting. Um, and when you jump down into the sewers in like 30 seconds, there's just a tight clusterfuck of baby enemies, and you need to get through them all, and that is <gasps> very hard without shooting anything. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, it's actually clever. They put the blue door there, so you have to get the key if you don't realize there's another door in the corner. This is actually, I think, a bit lighter than the original game was, um, because the original game is is a little dark. I mean, it's spooky, but once you know the level, the spooky mostly just means you can't see anything. I love this barrel that is just halfway inside that wall. You did it. Anyway, yeah, the the pacifist speedrun is like 21 minutes long. 15 minutes of it is just trying to lure one dude through that door so he'll shoot someone else or something. It's very ridiculous. Okay. There's a secret. Where is it? Nice. You got 42 health, which is like 420 without the zero because the zero doesn't mean anything. Where's the secret? It's in the house. Really? Yeah, it's the teleporter I told you about. That's not oh. a house. Oh, oops. It's not really a house. I don't know what it is. I was talking about it a minute ago. It's super a house. So I got distracted. Okay, so it's not just me. It is a house. Probably. Wait, there was like a health somewhere I didn't pick up. Uh, was it in here? To the right? No. No. It might have. Oh, it might have been up here. Uh, in one of these little closets. They're called monster closets. I don't know why. I mean, obviously the name works just fine, but I don't know, like, who coined it. I don't know if it was even coined for Doom. Okay, now... No, I, there is still health somewhere. Uh, we can't use the cute Eevee HUD because I'm not playing. What? It would be illegal. Is that true? Yes. It must be true. If I had, like, a full two days before I realized it was 420, I could have fucking drawn you one, I guess, but... I didn't. That, that's where it was. I love this sewer that, or whatever, that doesn't really make any sense. Like, what, what is this? It's just a lot of rooms with water that has nowhere to go, and kind of little sidewalks. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, there are guards guarding it. And keys. Advanced colored locks. Woo! Par 130. Hmm. Oh yeah, the par is literally just John Romero ran through every level as fast as he could, rounded his time up to the nearest 30 seconds, and called it a day. So the par time is just <laughs> beat it as fast as John fucking Romero. Okay. Well, I didn't do that. Yeah, that's not like killing everything. That's just blaze it to the exit. This is the gantlet, which is not misspelled. Why is it called the gantlet? Uh, because it's like a gauntlet, but apparently you can also spell it gantlet. And Sandy Peterson is the kind of person who would do that. You know, I'm the kind of person who would jump. Don't... <laughs> well, see, the thing about that is you just broke, like, a little closet opening. What?! Yeah, because Can I restart this level? You can still do it, but, like, it was supposed to do a thing, and it didn't, because you're not supposed to jump. Well, actually, you might be able to strafe jump that. I don't know. 
I restart the level. Why? Because I want to do it the other way now. It's just like, it's right around this fucking corner. You don't have to do anything to get there. What am I supposed to do? That's it. That's that's where the thing was. See, it just opens that. What? Why would I want to open dudes? Because they got a lot of guns. And you could take their guns and shoot their guns. Well, I got some health out of it. It, it takes too long to take the shells out of someone else's shotgun. So Doom Guy actually just carries around like 40 shotguns he picked up. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I can I go in there? No, you were far too tall. <laughs> actually, Doom Guy is like four and a half feet tall. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that reveal fucking terrified me when I was like 11. <laughs> that was the scariest thing I'd ever seen. Just, it seemed, it, it's like four guys, but it feels like 50. And if you fire one shot, they all look at you. How can you possibly escape? Well. I did it. What? No! Oh fuck, they replaced the chain gun guys with uh, specters in GBA Doom? Yeah, those guys are fuckers. Hey, um, guess how much they show up in fan-made maps? All the time? Way too much. People will put them like a mile away so you can't hit them, but they have strangely perfect aim. It's fucking terrible. That's frustrating, actually. Ha! Huh, what was that noise? That was a teleporter. I do like how we went from the sort of like watery not sewers to this, which also has just sort of a watery outside thing. That's cool, like. I don't really think about it, but the, the Doom 2 mappers used water as just just sort of a, th a thing that you cross, not like a fixture or a feature. There's just water as part of like these weird military installation things. <gasps> uh, that was a, that was a thing. That was a monster. That was a dog. A dog? Yeah, that's called the Invisidog. No, it's not. Um, it's the invisible version of the dog. It's It's not very invisible. Because you can still see it. You know what? Are you that invisible? No. So, I mean, you know, it's... They could call it the, the more Invisidog. Because it's more Invisa than I am. But then a lot of monsters are more something than I am. So I don't know if I'm a great reference point. There's a switch what? behind you. Nice. This is such a like cleverly designed room too, because like all these guys start out here. They don't like teleport in or spawn or anything. But uh, even though there's tons of windows, they're positioned so they don't see you until you start walking towards them. So like, <gasps> where did it come from? Even though everything is kind of like openly accessible from the beginning, uh, the monsters kind of come at you in like chunks as you make progress. It's very cool. I hear it. This is cool music, although it feels like I'm lost on some faraway place and not just in a pond with stairs. Wait, are you saying this isn't a faraway place? I don't know, it's- not, don't do that. Why that, not? That skips ahead. Uh, That's- I'm- I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm No, don't! No, don't! Don't take away my abilities! <laughs> I'm gonna make you play fucking vanilla doom. Wait a minute. He's over here. And that leads you right here. <laughs> but you had to find it. You're so- I can't believe- What was the point of that? Tell me what the point of that was. I wonder if anyone's done like a jump run of this game where you play it Everything's the same, except you can use Z-Doom jumping. Like, how much does that improve on the regular time? Obviously, you can skip basically this whole map. Oh yeah, you missed a secret. Forever? No. 
Oh, there's only one secret. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's cool. This map feels like it has a lot of nooks and crannies, but most of them are just the map, not secrets. Yeah, um, the super shotgun can take him out in one hit, by the way. So, the one secret in this level is stupid garbage, um, and it is the one place in the game where I might actually encourage you to jump, because otherwise, we'll be here all day, it's such a pain in the ass, I fucking can't even How do it. How am I supposed to get out of here? Uh, hit that switch. Hit the other switch. Hit the switch that has not been hit yet. I thought I hit both of them. You did, but one of them is a lift, which is behind you. I also love Doom 2 just having several switches. One of them does a useful thing, the other is just kind of whatever. That's the exit, by the way, which you can tell because um, it says exit. Thanks. I don't think the ability to look up and down really breaks a ton in this oh. game. I guess it lets you make some shots. That Where's the secret? Really annoying. Back, back. Outside. I don't know why you thought this was outside. <laughs> I I don't know where I am. <laughs> Through the up the up the thing. No, up the thing. <laughs> normally, I swear to God. <laughs> it's it's that thing down there. See if you can do it without jumping. That? Yeah. Yeah, it fucking sucks. <laughs> Yep, you did it. Good job. Thanks. Holy shit! <laughs> what is this? It's called a soul sphere, but for some reason when you pick it up it says supercharge. I'm invisible. There's a lot of stuff in this game that just kind of has two names. Mm hmm Um, because, I don't know, they just typed whatever. Typed whatever felt cool, huh? Yeah, uh, chat thinks that was a megasphere, and chat is full of buffoons. Uh, the Megasphere gives you 200 health and armor. Soul Sphere only gives you 100 health. Megasphere is kind of brown. Oh, I don't. No, kind, I'm kind of sorry. beige. Um, it's beige because it's from it's from later on, so it's HD. I make you joke about everything from beige in games now. Anyway, yeah, to actually get in the fucking thing, you have to you have to do a stupid like diagonal jump where you sort of launch yourself over a step. It's it's dumb. Yeah, I hear it. Hey. What? Hey, hey real quick. What are you doing? Hey, just just for a sec. No! What if Don't do this! What if what if just just real quick. Okay. Why did you do this to me? You gave me a handicap. I don't think that's what happens. <laughs> I oh, I'm so fucking cheesed off. I feel like I feel like you're way ahead of me. And, ah! and I need to catch up. Oh yeah, no one knew why this was called this map was called the focus for the longest time until I asked about it on Twitter and someone just CC'd um uh Sandy Peterson asking him and he just said it was because of everything looking in on you in that beginning part. Which is not not quite as deep a lore I was hoping for, but it's What were you hoping cool. for? Tell me what you were fucking know. hoping for. I don't know. Focus is a cool word with like three different all cool meanings. So I was I was just hoping for the focal point of the invasion or I don't know, something. But then it's just no, it's cause a lot of dudes look at you. <laughs> Why can't you turn that into lore? Where is your imagination? What lore is there in some dudes look at you through a window? A weird, crushy window? Who built that? What is that for? That's nothing. You know, you're very rude. Oh, what did I just... Oh, I thought I kicked How a How did I get this? I did not. Um, well, you have to do some, some video gaming. Oh, no. Not that. You know, this seems like a quote-unquote puzzle that would never exist in, like, a modern shooter. No, wait. No, I'm full of crap. It that that's totally a thing that exists. 
Okay, this is a puzzle? It's not really. It's it's just progression. What? What? No! No! How do I escape? Look, look for a... Th there you go. Look for a... Th there you go. Oh! You found a secret. Congrats. There's another one. Very close. Oh, holy crap! Secrets are often hidden by, like, texture differences. Really? I don't see shit. It's the blue triangles. Yeah. Well, I was gonna try that next. There's like a metal paneling texture in this game that shows up fucking everywhere. And there's a variant that has just like a little lightning bolt symbol on it. And it's actually international law that anytime you use the lightning bolt version, it has to be a secret door. Um, I've, I've found maps that don't do that. And I've had to call up the United Nations to have them shot. Oh, hold on, hold on. I feel like you just invented your own lore about your own life. Yeah, I thought I thought that was good to do. You missed the switch. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to tell you you missed the switch? Yeah. It's in the little cubby hole behind you. In here? No, left. In here? Yes. There's a switch. Like, right next to the thing you're trying to get. <laughs> it's even got a window Holy to show crap. you what it does. Bingo. Congrats. Thanks. Hmm, that sounded like a door. Oh! Oh! oh. Nice. This room scared me to death as a kid because it's pretty dark even here, but like in Vanilla Doom, this is basically pitch black. Really? Yeah. And it's just it's just like a ten foot hallway. It's nothing. Yeah, but, this is pretty fucking dark. This is very scary for me. There's actually a light switch by the door where you came in. What? Yeah, like, there's nothing like like that anywhere else in the game, but they just... This room sucks. Let's put a light switch. I love it. Oh, yeah. I think uh, in, like, the unreleased assets, they actually had a switch texture that was just a tiny light switch. But it was oh. it's really hard to tell if it's up or down, so I can see why they didn't use it. This is the uh, first crate maze of the game, popularized by E two M two. There's something. there's more crate shit. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, crate maze. Really? Yeah. Doom invented crate mazes, and it turns out they're fantastic. What are you talking about? Who doesn't love a good crate maze? I don't. I don't like anything that just happened here. Fun fact: I don't know what that switch does. This which one? The switch you just hit. Don't made know what... the box come down. Nope. Standing on the tiny crate in the corner made the box come down. I don't know what the switch does. And I don't know why that's like that. It's so weird. But most people like end up finding it out themselves when they like back away from the imps and happen to walk into the corner. But it's super weird. I, I have no idea why it's like that or why there's like a decoy switch next to it. That's probably the worst secret in the game. Why is that? Because it's right there. All you have to do is like turn left, and it's that's the whole secret. It's just notice there's a teleporter right next to you. I can't believe you took away my ability to jump. Uh, you can quick save also. I don't remember where I went or where I was or anything. Well, look around for a, a door of a color of a key you just got. Oh wait, does it turn the lights off? It just turns the lights back off? Oh my god. Why? <laughs> you would never even notice that because you just get the thing and then teleport out. I can't go in there from here? Really? Yeah, it's just a little window. Okay, so I got a red one. Alright. Where was that? You just almost looked at it. I do like this level for just having the same door everywhere. It feels, it really feels like a fucking base. Like they were just like, no, we gotta have the standardized doors that open when you walk up to them and go, mm. <sighs> I don't really understand how opening doors works in this universe.
See, they're so kind here. They put the chain gun guys in like these short hallways with corners. Instead of a mile away in a row to snipe you. I think the speedrun, actually they hit that switch and then they do an incredibly cool jump onto the platform as it rises. It's pretty good. Oh, you did it. You made the bridge come up. Oh. I thought it would go like up and down or something. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's some, some of that. Good old oh no, it's just the same loop I'm trapped ambiguity. in. Help! There's. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going in a circle forever! You are! Turn the other way and look! I'm stuck in a loop! Okay, you keep going in that little <laughs> one. There you go. <laughs> That's rude! Also, there was someone, uh, or maybe there's several people, I don't know. Uh, it's just a doom thing about having exit rooms with a demon in them. Specifically a demon. They called that a demon, that particular monster. Which seems like it was a really bad idea. <clears throat> I guess that's why everyone calls it a pinky. Alright, this creepy, this feels like a my dad level. Because I think I watched my dad play it. <laughs> but I never really liked myself. Oh yeah, there's another dark part in it, that's why. I love these weird little just cubby holes that just just drop down when you walk over the bit that drops down. It's so fascinating. Yeah, here's the dark bit. Again, pitch black in 1994. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. This shit sucks. This level does have one of my favorite secrets though. This is the waste tunnel, so. Uh, what did that do? Give you 100 health. What did that do? Gave you 20 shells. Mm, likely story. Very likely, in fact. It was a box of shotgun shells. Alright. I definitely need to catch up to you. One Me? second. Yeah. You're not caught up? Not cut out. The house. Oh yeah, another thing about this map is uh eleven year old Evie got ridiculously lost in it because everything looks the same. Really? It's it's very brown. It shakes it up a little with different brown textures, but most of it is brown and kind of hallway. -y. And there's also like weird, like one-way doors and confusing stuff that I still don't entirely understand. Yeah. I think you missed. Ah, uh, some rockets. Right there. Fucking... Get off my ass. <laughs> You're like mad anew every time the door is locked. <laughs> every time you try to open it knowing it's locked, and it tells you it's locked. Nice. Alright, so these flashing arrows are called environmental storytelling. Uh-huh. Are you telling me there's a puzzle here? Oh, there's all kinds of something here. Like that door that closed behind you. Ha uh ha! -huh. I don't know what any of these switches do. <laughs> this part is so confusing. I don't know what the lore of this level is. It's called the Waste Tunnels, but we already had like the Underhalls, and the Gantlet was kind of an outside, kind of watery thing too. Fuck off, dude. So we've just we've just spent like four levels in a row, just kind of sloshing through like an aqueduct or something. 
Like, what are all these fucking arrows for? I guess that, okay, that pointed the door it opened, but. Oh, the other one opened the door at the end of the hall. This okay. is so hard to see. Yeah, no, this is, this is like lit. These little, little lights going down the middle of the room are so weird. It makes it look like a runway or something. What the fuck is this? Well, that's the cool room. It's like all just pistol dudes, so it's actually nothing, but it is very intimidating when you first see it. Suck ass. Holy shit. That's where they keep their body parts. It seems really inefficient that they tore this guy into three pieces and put him in three separate cubby holes. Like, Holy crap, that's fucked up. <laughs> you can't do anything to him? Uh, no, they're just decoration. I can't believe you've never seen those before. Maybe I did when I was a little kid. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, like, obviously you haven't played the game before. It's just... I'm so used to them. <laughs> Uh, they could be in our house, and I would not bat an eye. I'd be like, oh yeah. Okay, hold on. You're saying fucking corpse pieces. If they looked exactly like that, including very pixelated when I walked close to them, then yeah, I'd be like, oh yeah, I know this. This is just that, that doom what pushing corpse What the fuck are stick. these? They're lost souls. Um, they're incredibly fucking annoying. Um, and they just fly at you really fast, and they have like 20 bugs. For example, if they fly at you and miss, they just keep flying until they hit something. That's a bug? Uh, arguably. Oh, oh, also, if, if they're flying at you and you shoot them so they, like, flinch, they can get stuck, like, just slowly floating backwards because the game thinks they're still, like, in the middle of their charging thing. Um, ah! Ah! But they're, they're just sort of drifting from the recoil from being shot. And so they don't have control of their own movement, and they will just gr glide slowly away from you until they hit something else. You're saying they don't have control of their body. Yeah. I don't actually remember why we said that. I don't either. It was, it was funny at the time. <laughs> like, oh, I remember it's in... Ah! Oh, crap! 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 Help! Oh, you're... Help! Help. You're having a time. There we go. Um, one thing you could try is, uh, getting shot less. Hey. <laughs> I feel like you just made fun of me. A little. Did this happen? It would never. <laughs> Crap, there's so many monsters all over. I already was in here. Yeah, and here's where it starts to get a little... Kind of twisty. Like, obviously, okay, there's watery floor here. Um, but, yeah, I remember being a kid, and by the time I, or maybe my dad, got to this point, I had no idea what was going on. I felt like I'd traversed miles. Well, you had NVIDIA. I, I'm not sure that's accurate. <laughs> it definitely is. Where did you come from? Good question. Where's all the secrets? Um, hidden. Oh! I just hit the wall randomly everywhere. Eventually I'll find it. That is kind of the Doom experience. Or you can follow the flashing arrow. That's not a secret. <gasps> no! Why did you just laugh at me? It, I don't know, it's like, I can never be surprised by that again in my life. I will always know that trap is there. <laughs> but I get to watch you not know it's there, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> You're such a dork. Holy shit! No, dude, come on! I didn't do shit to you! Holy crap! You got a secret. What? Why am I- why did my vision turn all red? Uh, you got the Berserk pack, so now your punches do ten times more damage for the rest of the level. That's just taking my health away? No, a dude is shooting you, that's taking your health away. Why well, I didn't even see him. 
Yeah, funny thing is, like, the red wears off, but the effect stays, but a lot of people do not realize that. Help, so how do I go with- wait, did I get anything new? Um, you got a berserk pack. Okay, how does that, that help? It's not like a key or anything. How do I go over there? It's a secret. Not here. Oh. It's that that is one of my favorite secrets in this game. It's so it's so fucking goofy. You wanna know? Where is it? Alright. Um look to the right. Peek out that window and see if you can stand on this little yeah, that thing. Uh, then go in here, some dudes will appear. If you go in there, some more- you can, I think you can open that wall and more dudes will come? Maybe not. Anyway, yeah, do that, and then run straight across. Yeah, yeah, it closes really fast. But yeah, that wall lowers, and that bit of floor lowers at the same time. Okay, so... Just fucking book it. And there you go. Whoa. What's and this? Um, a switch to let you out. This thing. Oh, this is a plasma gun. Uh, it's great and very loud. Where am I going? I don't know. Um, I think, I think this still works. I think this is going to be a red door at the left. Yeah. Yeah, you would have come out here, um, if you had finished the kind of sewery bit. I think uh, a plasma cell actually only does like 50% more than than a pistol shot, but obviously it comes out a lot faster. Yeah, this has hurt me plenty. Oh yeah, I think on Ultra Balance there's a Hell Knight down there, who I was kind of expecting. Ah, ah. Raspberries, as my dad called them. This is just the I remember my dad playing Doom stream. <laughs> what do I do? What if I fly up? No, that would never work. They are clearly not tomatoes, chat. That's not tomatoes. Yeah, ah. they got that texture, so they're raspberries. What happened? Uh, you stepped in a teleporter. Um, the last secret is in this room. Nope. Why not? Don't worry, it's much more annoying than that. In there? It's behind the exit. You have to jump in through those side windows. What? Where's the monster? Um, it's invisible, but it's kind of crap invisible. I mentioned this in the stream, but yeah, you there's- You fucking- Oh yeah, don't worry, this is horrible. Why did you do this to me? You took away- There's like nothing back there. <coughs> you maybe... took away my ability to fly. Oh, God. oh fuck. Um, I, I guess I kind of, um. Kind of what? Well. I made that sound a lot harder than you made it look. <laughs> it's not that hard, right? I don't know, I swear I've I've taken like at least a dozen fucking attempts at that before. And you got it on number two. Yeah. Take a look at my time. <laughs> fucking John Romero asshole. <laughs> I mean, like half the map is optional too, so he just blew through it. <laughs> Let's see. God damn it. Oh, I gotta save my game. Wait, why do I save it? Uh, new save? New save! Um... You, you can also type. Wait, really? Yeah. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It also- it does auto-save at the start of each level, too. But you can save in the middle of the level. With F6. I see. Which is very um, intuitive. <gasps> it's kind of funny how like all these old DOS games were afraid to use the 
the letters for anything. Like, original Doom keys were just shift, control, alt, space bar, and arrow keys. And all the controls for, like, menu stuff were escape and function keys. So the letters did nothing except cheat codes. Hmm. Which I guess means typing in a cheat code doesn't accidentally do other stuff, but... Sorry, I picked up about 10% of that. Um, to answer chat's question, yes, it would, in ZDoom, be possible to change all the part times to 420. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is that metal texture with the, the variant that must always be a secret on pain of death. And... What is this? What is this? Um, look to your right and press that switch. Or... I, I didn't. Or don't. Don't shoot them, it's a waste of ammo. Wait, really? Yeah. Why? Um, well, the title of this map is The Crusher. What does that mean? Well, that will reveal itself to you momentarily. Does it crush them? It does. It does do that. I do like it fucking makes you watch. Also, in Ultraviolence, instead of just those four little guys, there's a spider mastermind, <laughs> which can take multiple crushings to actually kill. I think these are the first Hell Knights you've seen in the game so far. Mm -hmm. On, on Ultraviolence, there would have been one in the last level. And it kills them for you. So that's, that's quite a drastic difference between medium and hard skill levels. What do you mean? Uh, well... Well, those are kind of like a, a mid-tier enemy, so it's like the first step up from the pinkies. Mm -hmm. um, and you skipped the first one, and then the second ones you saw were killed for free. You skipped the first one? Yeah, the first one uh, is only on hard difficulty on the previous map. How do I... How do I... Oh. Okay. What am I supposed to do in here? Um, get the blue key. Where is it? Um, somewhere. I have to go down there. Nope, that's completely pointless. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, more, more cool. Oh, there's the blue key on the upper left. Yeah, more cool, cool trivia. Um, the blue key is in a different place on uh, easy, medium, and hard. How would I go up there? It's there on medium, but it's over there at, in the kind of dark, blinky windows on hard. And I think on easy, it's just like right where we're standing right now. Well, how do I go over there? Um, go up the lift. Really? Yeah. You can just go out that way? Yep, there's the little gap. God damn it, really? If only I had the ability to jump. Sorry, Doom guy can't dump. He can only run straight off ledges with no vertical push at all. That's what he does. That's just how he rolls. You know what? It's very annoying. Maybe, maybe he has like wheels for feet. That must be it. What the fuck, you guys? This I love, I not... love that because you press the button to lower a lift. And it totally distracts you, so you have to go all the way back if you want to do the lift again. Like, that's such that's such a brilliant, stupid little troll. Like, you, you could just... I mean, either way, you have to come back, which is... Nonsense. Garbage. Wait a minute. I just get what you said. I'm glad you're listening to my stream. Oh, I'm... Super not. That you're in. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a chain gun. Oh, that switch was fucking upside down. That's interesting. I have I have mixed opinions on upside down switch that starts out like green and then hitting it like unpresses it. What was I even doing up here? That was it. Just getting that. The The blue key is up here on hard. So you have to come up here, but you got it earlier on medium. This is like, oh. I think this is the only place uh, in the game that they do that with key. Oh, I think there might be one in... Um, I forget what it's called. Map. 
fucking something. Like 19, it's a yellow key. The remember map. Courtyard. No, not courtyard. Uh, the one after courtyard. What the fuck am I doing again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck. Tenements. There we go. 17. Okay. Oh, it's Gay Pal. What's up, Gap? Ah. I love these dudes. Like, who sees someone they want to kill and their only reaction is. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you even make that noise ah, with your face? What the fuck, dude? What? What? No, 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 no! I do also love this. Just all these guys that kind of just pour into the start area. No, I don't like just it. Just surprise. No, it's rude. Okay. Hey, remember what I said about that electrical panel texture that is right there? This? To the right. There. Yeah. Oh! That didn't register as a word. Electrical panel did not do anything in my head for me. Well, that was it. Uh, you got the blue key, so... Where's the blue door? Yeah, that is the question. I love this room because it's just a square, but sticking all these really annoying pillars all throughout it, like, changes it a whole lot. Just breaking up lines of sight really, uh, makes space a lot more interesting. And again, your first thought is, I want to go down there and shoot them some more, but then you're kind of distracted from it. I wonder if that's on purpose. It feels... it feels clever. Also, I love that just that tiny room is hidden behind a lift. Ooh. We might be able about to see a brand new Doom 2 exclusive enemy. Not that. I've seen plenty of that. I've seen enough of that. Yeah, I was gonna jump up there. Well, that's illegal. <sighs> so don't do it. <laughs> you are such a pain in my ass. I mean... What's the point of doom if I can't cheat? Because you have to get... Oh, there we go. What the fuck is that? First revenant of the game. I've never seen this before in my life. What? This looks like soccer players. Oh man, it's football not. players. Um, you do have a rocket launcher with a decent number of rockets. Okay. That's not. That works pretty well too. Hey, that was a little messed up. Cool thing, the rockets actually only have like a 50% chance to uh, to home in on you based on the, the game time when they're fired. Why did I just... Oh. Do not fall in the lava. You cannot get out. What? Yeah. The lava. F6, yeah. Uh, there's just a little pool of lava kind of in the middle of the staircase. That's scary. Oh no. For some reason they had a sign that said poison, but not one that said lava. And also they made a room full of lava. Or, I don't know, sometimes when it's like indoors I imagine it's ore or something. Nice. <gasps> I almost survived. lost my life. And yet, you've become all the stronger for it. Oh, hold on, I don't like that though. There is a secret in this room. Wait, really? Yeah. Uh, you know the place you wanted to jump? What, you, in the middle? You can get up there. Uh, or no, the, the other little like window thing. What window thing? Uh, down there, where the where the fucking secret marker electrical panel thing is. Hey. Yeah. I wish I could jump. Yeah. So does Doom Guy, but he has a gravity disorder. I, okay. I will not accept that answer, but okay. Oh. I remember that being much more annoying too. 
Oh, this is a great room. Just shoot the barrel. And it nukes everybody. <laughs> That's hilarious. It is. Also, it gives you that mega sphere, which gives you 200 armor. And then it has a 200 armor there, which you can now not pick up because you already have 200 armor. What if you do it the other way around? Um, that would work, but I don't know. I don't even know if there's enough room to sneak around to pick it up in that order. But yeah, it's kind of weird. Hmm. Oh. Right. Oh no! It's it's the spikers. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, here's your first real helmet fight. Which you have almost all the weapons by now. Actually, I think I think we only got the plasma gun from a secret. Where's the first non-secret plasma gun in this game? This is so, so interesting because, hmm. I mean, you just you just play with the plasma gun while you've got it. Because of course, who wouldn't? But I'm so used to only watching people who who do the fucking just doom person thing of only you ever using the super shotgun, which you have basically not used at all. Uh, why would you do that? Um, it just has the most DPS. Oh. Oh, you got a backpack. Nice. That doubles your ammo capacity for the rest of the game. Which is a kind of a slightly difficult to balance mechanic. Uh, Doom 1 was on Phobos. And also Deimos. And Hell. But it was never actually on Mars. I think Doom 3 was sent on Mars. They were like, nobody's fucking heard of Phobos. Just do Mars. People know what Mars is. What, what is the point of being over here? Well... If only... There were a big fucking flashing switch. What? Right there. Uh oh. Ah. It's a ambush. Couldn't couldn't really think of a funny explanation for why I portmanteaued ham with ambush. Hmm. Well. I guess I guess they're from hell, so it's a dambush. Ah. Uh. This is where we are. D A M N B U S H. The only English word um, to have M N B in it. What are you even talking about? Where did? I... Okay, help. What? What What's happened? What's going on? You got all the keys. Now what? Exit. Where? At the exit. What? Hey, you... that was a trick. Another pinky in the exit. I. I never finished Doom 3. Um, I think I... It felt like I'd played the game for about 700 hours of in-game time. And oh, I was you mean, like, finally the, the first teleporter. And, and then I kind of got bored, <laughs> I guess. I was playing it on a laptop with like four You have entered room. deeply into the infested starport. But something is wrong. Da, da, da. The monsters have brought their own reality with them, and the starport's technology is being subverted by their presence. Ahead, you see an outpost of hell, a fortified zone. If you can get past it, you can penetrate into the haunted heart of the server. What is any of this story? This is called a cutscene in 1994. Hold on. Let me think really hard about it. I mean... What is going on? Okay, well, the original plot is... That demons have invaded Earth uh -huh. while you were taking a nap, I guess. Okay. And he, the last remnants of humanity are on a, a big fucking a spaceship waiting for... Or, or they're trying to escape Earth. But the demons turned off their spaceship launcher. <gasps> so now you have to turn it back on or something. What is this? Uh, this is another new Doom 2 monster, the Mechubus. Who uh, shoots very large fireballs. So large... 
they actually cause a couple display bugs in some cases, or can move so fast that they go straight through a thin enough wall. This map is called Dead Simple because the thing you have to do is kill everything, which is something you don't really have to do in any other Doom level, except the, the bosses in, in Doom 1. And you did it, which introduces another new enemy in Doom 2, <laughs> the Arachnotron. I never noticed until people started talking about it, but apparently there are a bunch of just missing pixels in the Arachnotron sprites. I just want to cry. I don't like this. No, 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 no. This sucks! So, funny story. Sandy Peterson originally designed this map, and it was kind of the same idea as the little arena where you are introduced to these two new monsters and just have to kill them. And we've seen his version of the map. Because it was in uh, it was in an unfinished uh, like backup of, of Doom 2 that John Romero had from before the game was released, and it is very bad. Um, it's it's like he deliberately picked the ugliest textures in the game, and they just sort of made like five little huts in just this sort of weird arena. It's it's weird garbage, and it doesn't have an exit, so it was clearly never finished. But anyway, uh, apparently American McGee, I guess. Some dude. Oh, the same one from, like, Alice. Oh. Fuck! First death. Nice. What's that dude jacking off for? I, I don't know who you jack off, but... <laughs> what do I do? Um, press use, I think. Okay. God damn it. I think Doom 2 had an annoying thing where if you press use to close the text scroll before this level, that would also press this button and immediately, like, lower this wall. Anyway, yeah, so American McGee came up to John, one of them, and was like, Hey, Sandy's map is fucking piss garbage. To the point where we literally cannot release this in a game. Um, or I can never show my face in public again. I'm elaborating slightly, but he did say we can't release the game with this in it. So Romero was like, what were, what were you going to do instead? Mercury McGee was like, I'll just make a fucking new map in like 20 minutes. Or something. And then he did, and it was this. And now this is dead simple. Which is actually like special case in the game executable. To do that thing where it lowers the walls when you kill the, the last Mancubus in the level. Oh. So every time someone releases a, a new pack of Doom 2 levels, they make a map in this slot, and they cannot resist fucking doing a basically this same thing. But this mm -hmm. is it's dead simple. You can't really shake this formula up. Uh, so they're kind of infamous for being a little goofy and um, vary a lot like this. Uh, Timmy points out- Fuck! What? Timmy points out you can skip this map entirely, um, if jumping is enabled. <laughs> I can't believe you ruined my whole Cause, life! Because the exit is the big eye pillar in the middle of the map. God. Um, but in fact the speedrun, um, also skips most of the map. Because it does an incredibly cool jump to get onto that platform. Of course it does. Instead of actually, like, killing anything. If you press 3 again, it gives you the super shotgun. Which does 3 times more damage. It actually shoots- it does the same damage, but it shoots 3 times as many pellets. Or it's- uh, 7 for the shotgun, 20 for this, so almost 3 times. You might be the last person left alive who has never seen this level before today. <laughs> so I'm so glad we got to record this. Also, I love how they just sort of like leave a charred radius. <laughs> like just an, every wall at the same height across the whole like uh, so little corner. Nice. 
Oh yeah, Valiant had had an interesting twist on this. Um, it, it was just a short little map, but you couldn't let the Mancubus die because that would release like 50 arch vials into the map. So you had to like like just play through ah, this thing. Ah, ah, ah. Oh goodness. There is like a mega sphere in the middle, but you have to like hit some switches to get it. But yeah, those fuckers are so annoying. They will stop shooting as soon as they can't see you, but they will keep shooting if they can see you. Oh, fuck! I don't, I don't know if Ash knows what dark file is. It's the naked man who's on fire. Mm. We'll see him later. Depending on how far we get before you decide you hate this game. Very hard. Yeah, this is this is one of the the few places that's just a pure 100% dick move of just all four sides of the room stuff comes in and there's nowhere to get out of the room. Getting out of the room is a very important like defense tactic in Doom. And there are a few places they don't let you do that. That's so weird. There's like a handful where there's of, of like fights where there's no escape in the actual game, but uh, like fan maps people make nowadays are there's a lot more of that. Oh yeah, I think that's a secret because in the original game, if a map had zero secrets, then it would show up as you got zero percent secrets. But if they just put one in and it's right by the exit, so you have to step on it. Then that's the one secret and you get a hundred percent but then i don't know why that he did this here when there's some maps in the game oh no what's wrong well well this will be good uh, i don't like when you say something like that oh this map is infamous and it is called tricks and traps so i'm very happy i get to see someone play it for the first time What's the point of this? I don't want to tell you anything. Yeah, this is the most Sandy Peterson map of all time. It's actually, uh, there's sort of a simplified version of this. Um, it's just like a corner somewhere in a, like an E3 map in Doom 1. So, yeah, you could have hidden in one of the cubbies, and when the stairs went up, then they could have all run down, and you could have chainsawed them, which is cool. Oh. Um. Okay, what was the point of that? Um. Nothing right now. What happened? What was the point of that room? It was just a trick or a trap. Yeah, this, this map is just like eight little... Little quirky thoughts in boxes. There's one quirky thing a room. I can't believe it. You killed them so fast, you actually defeated the trick slash Wait, really? trap. Yeah, I mean, normally you have like a shotgun or something, and there's so many, they start walking towards you, and they all teleport behind you. Then you kind of get it, uh, like, coming and going, but... Uh, you just nuked them all. That was really cool. Huh. Whoa. Chat says this map sucks. Um... But chat is full of buffoons. Why do they say it sucks? 
It's just full of goofy nonsense. Oh, there's supposed to be like a dude in here. Oh, I guess he's only on ultra violence. There's just a dude and you shoot him and then they all come out at the same time. I love these little fire cubbies with blinking lights. It just looks really cool. If you play this map from Pistol Start, which I did once, it is a nightmare if you don't do the rooms in like the right order to get some fucking ammo. I think that may have done something in the first room you went in. Also, it's probably good to quick save after each room. Bless. Let's go there. Uh, oh. Uh, hit escape. Okay. No. Oh, they give you an extra invulnerability on, on medium. That's wild. You took both of them at the same time. <laughs> No! Are you serious? Yep. Ah, ah, ah. Fuck. That was a cyber demon? Yeah. Oh, I guess that was your first cyber demon, huh? Oh my god. Hey, congrats! <laughs> I lost! That's the cyber demon. He is, he is a large man who shoots rockets out of his middle finger, which he is always holding up at you. What's that blue thing? It gives you a hundred health. Okay, Damn, you picked I them both again. up again. <laughs> that was a mistake. I do like how like the final bosses from Doom One just end up as these kind of weird like we've seen both well, on Ultra Violence we would have seen the spider demon. But uh, they just end up as these, these weird little sort of gimmick fodder. Supposed to be leading the entire invasion of Earth. Um, but, but here they're just sort of a, a weird ant farm setup. Oh yeah, that's a good point in chat. Every time you see it's Cyber Demon in Doom 2, it's a puzzle, not a boss. I was just thinking about that there is an extra Cyber Demon or two in like the extra levels for Doom 1. Um, but but you actually like fight them. Whereas here, yeah, like I, I think or, or no, there's there's the one in the end of map 29 that, that's a fairly straight fight, although there's a little infighting, or you could just skip it. But but yeah, they're mostly they're mostly just a giant turret puzzle. That's my hint that this room is a puzzle. Although shooting it is a valid solution. I can't. Okay, you say it's a puzzle, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. Um Well, watch closely what happens when you go in the room. Yeah, I get it. They fucking fight dudes. Okay, so just let him fight. Like, they don't know you're here because they're facing away from you until you start shooting them. So he will just keep trying to fire at you, hit them, and they'll get pissed off thinking he shot him for no reason. <laughs> and then turn around and kill him. Well, that is quite weird, isn't it? 
Okay, I don't know what, what? that tube is doing. I put some out there, right? Yeah, somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Usually he takes out a couple more than that. Oh, I guess because he got... No, actually, I don't know why that happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the entire puzzle is just come in here and not shoot them. <laughs> uh, see, on a modern slaughter map, there'd be a room like this, except you walk in, there's no invulnerabilities, and everything is facing in the same direction. That sounds like ass. No one must play the game like that. Oh, a lot of people do. Oh yeah, uh, this this is very loud gun. Oh, nope, whoa. Oops. I didn't even know that was a button. Oh, that's F5, you want F6. That is fucking gross, actually. I love the whole aesthetic of this room, which is all the better now that there's blood splattered all over the walls. That's super upsetting. Wait. Was it Valiant that replaced the plasma rifle with this sort of like pleasing, like almost a tinkle? It sounded like crumpling tissue paper or something, but still kind of powerful, and it was really good, and I would kind of like to just replace normal plasma gun with it. Damn it! You motherfucker! Damn. Yeah, there's some, some cool trivia. Uh, depending on the sprite you're looking at, uh, it's usually the mouse and keyboard at, at the same time. Oh. What do I do? Uh, that? Is this yeah, that works. Did I already do this one? Uh, yeah, there's a bit more to it, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's kind of boring. What's help? What? Wait, how do I go over there? Um, that's a secret. Why is it a secret? It's not from here. I'm not. Uh, is this, that's not the same room. Oh, where the hell did you go? Yeah, sometimes there's just one thing will teleport from one of these puzzles to another. What? Uh, anyway, yeah, um, depending on which weapon sprite you're looking at, uh, Doomguy has, like, either is barehanded or is wearing leather gloves exactly the same shade as his skin, which is pretty weird. Um, slightly weird. Fucking kidding me. Oh yeah, by the way, this floor dropped down. <laughs> Is this just death now? Yes. Sorry. Welcome to Tricks and Traps. I just You fell into a trick and then very swiftly into a trap after it. That was really uncalled for, I think. I think everyone watching this was like bracing themselves for you to pick the key up. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Help! <laughs> there is an invulnerability right there. <laughs> behind this thigh. Okay, okay, this time. Okay, okay, this time. Okay, where is it? It's it's there. It, okay. It's it's inside the crates, yeah. So you can't get it yet. And it's also behind the, the guys, which makes it a little a little more annoying. But yeah. Finally. There's like hell knights in here on uh, ultra violence. Well, 
turns out I'm very good at this game. Absolutely, you are. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. I'm agreeing. Uh huh. Probably, probably quick save. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Oh, did you not save after you went in there before? Okay. I love this. This is just a hallway. What should one of my eight just mysterious tricks be? How about a hallway with a guy in it? But he's like a really big guy. <laughs> oh, and then there's a second guy who teleports right behind you. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole hallway. Is there a berserk in here? I seem to remember... A berserk. I guess not. So that was completely pointless. Um, you can go in that room now, I think. Uh, left one. Other left. Okay, now I have no idea. Are you kidding me? You fell into the final trap. Ah! Uh, cannot believe this shit. Well, uh, do you want me to tell you about more stuff in this map? Since that's the exit. Like what? Um, find the gray room. They're all fucking okay, gray. Okay, just turn it. No, it's already got a door open. Left, left, open door. There you go. Now go into that place where you asked what it was for before. Now what? That's open in the back. There's a lot of backpacks. Also, there's a lot of pinkies. These guys suck. They suck a lot more in Doom 4, where they, like, charge really fast straight at you. And, like, home in on you. Which, I, I guess home in is kind of a weird way to say turn to face you as they're running. Well, five billion shots later. But it's cool because you got five backpacks. What does that mean? Which you're now wearing. They, they all contain, like, just some ammo. Uh, the first one you got doubled how much ammo you could carry. But now they just What give is this you... shit? That's uh, the large goat man. P.S. Um, hmm. It's actually kind of funny. I guess I guess you'd really only know this if you played Doom 1. Does it make you do it? But you can shoot some doors to open them. Oh, uh, is that a hint? No. Oh, baby. What you is have, this? It's, it's the ultra weapon. Well, it uses a lot of ammo, though. How much was that? 40. Okay. Okay, I won't use it all the time, then. But it's pretty good. Where is that going again? Oh, yeah. But you now have all the weapons. Oh, by the way, you can shoot that lion face head thing. And that's how you get up here. Oh. And there's, I don't know, there's more stuff in that room, but it's really boring and doesn't do anything. I hate that it teleports you back. Fucking to this stupid room where you have to go hit the switch every time. Yeah, so save again before you try this. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, um, in one of the patches after, uh, after this game was released, they added a teleporter that skips you right to the exit room, but only opens after you walk into this room the first time. For co-op. Because if you had two players and one of them fucked it up, <laughs> the other would just be stuck. I'm not good at this room. It's it's a little it's a little something. Fuck. That's hideous. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, 
I just sort of took for granted for a while. No! That this is hell. the obituaries were in the original game, but they weren't. All the cute little messages about what killed you, those are... I don't know who actually wrote them. Maybe Randy, but... The Z-Doom edition. Yeah, where's the fucking jump button? That's what I want to know. Jump cannot help you now. Fucking naked butt man. <laughs> naked butt man. You did it. You did tricks and traps. <laughs> Congrats. That only took half of my life. Half of my entire life. The game is gonna start getting real. Oh yeah, if you're tired, <laughs> I think if you take more than an hour, or maybe, maybe more than an hour, more than part time, it says your time sucks <laughs> on the intermission screen. Help! What the hell is this? It's the pit. One of everyone's least favorite levels. I like it though. I mean, yeah, yeah, I like it. It's fine. It's good. It's good. You know what? Fuck it. This is a good map. It doesn't make any sense. So that was the pit that you started in. Nothing else is really pit-like. I don't know what this map is. Actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. I think when I was a kid, this was the first map that started to feel like, where the hell am I anymore? Stuff is just getting fucking weird. Oh, really? Like, it, like the other stuff kind of felt like, yeah, this is some kind of building outpost thing that someone built. Mm -hmm. This map... Like, even Tricks and Traps is like, this is clearly like fucking doors, rooms with things in them. This is just stuff. It's it's just kind of, I don't know, bizarre. And I guess it was the first map to really feel surreal to me in this game. This is awesome music also, yes. Oh yeah, chat says this is the right way to do a hub map, which is interesting. Hub map? Uh, yeah, hub map is one where you sort of, maybe not start in, but th there is somewhere like a central area, and then it just branches off into other stuff you can do. Like Tricks and Traps oh. was about as hub as you can get. This map has a central area, but you don't really spend any time in it, and all of the side stuff links together one way or another. Um, so it's kind of cool. And there's like several hubs, so it's, it just feels like stuff is happening all over the place all the time. Anyway, you've now met the Paint Elemental, named because it's a pain in the fucking ass, because it just spits out lost souls, who are already a pain in the fucking ass. Um, I, I think... I think there's actually, um, abandoned art we have that shows... I don't know if they made it for Doom 1 or Doom 2, but they made a thing that would, like, go on a wall and spit out Lost Souls. So the Pain Elemental is kind of the actual finished version of that idea, I guess. Oh yeah, fun fact about Pain Elementals, if you stand right in front of them, they can't spit Lost Souls because you're in the way. Why do I do anything in here? That's a great question. Help. I don't think you do yet. Really? Yeah, but I think I think in a minute you'll start to see what I mean about just stuff happening. What? I love this just texture that I think is supposed to look like uh, like it, I think it actually looked like the office building they used or something. It was one of those that has just huge windows and really thin borders between them. But it just gets used as sort of this weird checkerboard pattern. Did it. It makes you step past that little corner. So stuff has begun to happen, as you can see. That little outdoor area, again, just a an outdoor tiny like pillar building thing. Uh doesn't doesn't what what is it? Why is it here? When I was a kid, that felt like it was a thousand miles away from the rest of this map, even though it's just right around this corner, because it's just... It's super weird, and it feels like there's a billion people here shooting at you. Because there are. I 
I love how they just sort of clump there and then get mad at each other. <laughs> That's like Pearl. Wow, it's like Pearl. Our cat Pearl will will just sit down next to another cat and then <laughs> and then grumble at them for being in her spot. <laughs> She's so confident. <laughs> I don't know. She knows what she wants, and she does not care about any of the context. <laughs> Pearl, so good. <laughs> uh, chat asks how high we are. Um... I don't know how to measure that. <laughs> I don't know. We're playing Zoom for the internet and talking about our cat. Yeah, basically. This feels like you're tiptoeing. This is tiptoeing music, but urgently. You're so goofy. What are you talking about? It's got that sound. Do, 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 tiptoeing through an alien. A yellow key. Oh yeah, some of the lore just refers to them as aliens, which is not false, but 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 they're demons from ah. hell. I, I just spilled a, water on my lap. You need a paper towel? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. I do want some water though. Give me a second. <sighs> what? Committed a murder of own self on accident. Hey, I'm back. Oh, too bad. I missed warning you about this room. <laughs> you would not have warned me. I would not. I'm taking a jelly bean as punishment. That's my Easter jelly bean to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Is it Jesus coming back to life? Um, I don't know. Is it him dying? It's probably not him dying. That seems like a weird thing to celebrate. Hmm. But, I mean, really, it's spring, which is why we have bunnies and eggs. How are we doing? Oh, you know. You could always save here right where you know there's a hard thing. Okay, I was gonna fucking do that. I know, you fucking... started You started 0.1 seconds after I started saying that, and then I couldn't just abort the sentence. So I was stuck looking like a jackass. <laughs> What's new? Rude. Oh, this is so much worse on ultraviolence. <laughs> There's like twice as many fuckers over there. Are you serious? Yeah. It's really bad. I need a jelly bean. It is possible to um, open the doors on one side without opening them on the other. If you're sneaky. Is there anything I can do over here? Oh uh, no, that's mostly just to get a rocket launcher. For no reason. There's just this. Really cool looking weird trap side room. And it also does that. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. My whole life's over. Yep. That's what being dead does. Hey, I did save there last time. Um, yeah, I watched you. Not sure what happened there. It just picks a certain point then, right? No, it should. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to be where you saved. Maybe you hit no instead of yes when I asked if you want to save? I don't know. I don't think I did that. Oh yeah, you do have a- oh, you have no ammo for the BFG. I 
already have that, right? Yeah. I don't need it? Nope. It'll just give you two rockets. And you have 78. Oh. Ammo's in the bottom right. If it's red, you don't have much. Oh, I see. You missed the yes. What? So it just closed the menu. I didn't. I think you were up by like a pixel. I just said game saved in the corner. Yeah, you got it that time, but you didn't get it before. It didn't say game saved before. What? What have we accomplished here? Nothing. Have you been through that door? You came up through that door. What door? This one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh no, you didn't come up through that door. They're supposed to be a blue key somewhere. Hmm. I think maybe you didn't finish something and it's throwing me off. Maybe it was that outdoor bit? What do you mean? Progression in this map is nonsense. Help, I need game facts. Here's a game fact. No, game facts. Games fact. were invented. Oh, not this. Where's the fucking game fact? Um. Okay, am I supposed to go down there? Probably. In a manner of speaking. Yeah, you need to. Oh, okay. Okay, we haven't even done that yet. All right. Yeah, you gotta vamoose this room. Okay, but why am I in here then? Because it was a way to get to where you need to go. Go up the stairs. And did you hit that? Excellent. Chat asks, do cat paws smell like corn chips like dogs do? Okay, hold on. I I don't think I've ever smelled anyone's paws. I don't think I have either. I'm just going to say that. I think I try not to, because those are on the floor. In the litter box. Where, where the cats go, yeah. So that's not something I want super close to my face. What the hell did that even do? Why would dog paws smell like corn chips? Why would corn chips smell like dog paws? Oh my god. Where am I Go going? Go up the stairs. <laughs> Turn left. There. Press that. Okay, you did. Go on that little platform now. Do a little hop. And press some buttons. And now you need that blue key, which you get by doing something. Is it? Do you walk across the blue blinky thing in the middle? Oh, you just step off that platform. Okay. You did it, blue key. Now you can go all the way back around. Oh no, I think it's stairs. Oh, whatever. Um. What? What? Yeah, go I'm back lost. there. That, that needed a blue key. Go. Turn around. Go. No. <laughs> <laughs> go here. Go up there. Tiny door with the blue thing. Okay. Hit that. There you go. All right, so that's a weird door. This is a weird room. These are all weird rooms. Save. Is there really no radiation suit over here? This is so hard. Yeah, regular shotgun is not very good against like kind of mid-tier enemies, which the pain elemental is. Mm. But you do have the super shotgun. This? Yeah. I have eight ammo. Oh. Oh dear.
Oh, for a second, I swore I just heard a cyber demon foot. <gasps> Why? So the only point of this room was to get the auto map. Why would I want that? It can help you find secrets. Hey, that sucks. This one actually has a key. I see it. Yeah, three rooms. One of them has a key, the others just have some stuff. I think this is a sandy map, right? It seems like one. I mean, it has more of this kind of... Yeah, yeah, this is definitely sandy. But yeah, it has more of this kind of, uh, just... Here's some rooms with different just just things. Oh, this sucks. Yep. There is a radiation suit like right below you, I think. Oops. Oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> we made a fucky wucky. <laughs> what? Have you seen that? It was no. so it was someone complaining about uh about websites all when they have an error is like oopsie moopsie bee me piggy wiggy our team of squirrels will be right on or whatever you know is super yeah. cheesy stupid garbage instead of actually telling you anything useful I love optional areas they're one of the things that's like strangely difficult to design when you start level designing because it's like well why would I make a whole bunch of stuff they don't actually need to do <laughs> but it turns out that's nice I guess these are all kind of pits, also, since this map is called The Pit, mm -hmm. which having more than one pit actually doesn't doesn't really work. I think Sandy Peterson named all the maps, by the way. And all the enemies. Well, this sucks. Yeah, you got a lot of rockets. Oh, you got not a lot of anything else. Oh. How long does this last? 30 seconds? 60 seconds? One of those. What'd that do? Um, one of them opened the door, ah. one of them brought that lift down. I don't remember which is which. I remember being a kid and just seeing two switches. I better hit them both and things happen. I guess he has one's lift. Yeah, really not a large window for cross. There you go, I got the lift. Which I think is all you need to do. This room is goofy. This room is super goofy. It's goofier than I ever realized. Um, How is that? Well, it's got like like some teleporters that you can't actually get to in that pit right there, and there's no point to because if you even try to go down there. It'll just teleport you anyway. It's... It's just kind of bizarre. Oh, that's not gonna go super well. Crap! Oh, uh, maybe the teleporters are for the enemies. I could see that. 
But then why would they decorate them like teleporters? There's plenty of like invisible monster teleport lines. Jesus Christ. I'm not quite sure how that happened. That you just ended up with... The oh, I wonder if there was a lot of single shotgun use. The game's ammo balance is kind of tuned for super shotgun. There's a dude up there somewhere. So yeah, this is just sort of a staircase of lifts, which is weird. It's really cool, but it's also really weird, and you have to kind of navigate them fast enough or you will be stuck and you'll have to start over. What? Well, whatever. You got some goodies. And that's, that's all this room is for. How do I get out of here? Um, same way you came in. Open that wall. Which one? The one without holes in it. What? Right there. Here? Yep. Okay, well, now what? You got the yellow key. Find the yellow door. Lost all the time. It's in they're, they're around the pit. They're like one one level up. Check out how many rockets you have. <laughs> Fucking whatever. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I made a custom monster once that I called an anguish. There was like a sort of gray paint elemental with a green insides. And it shot little little skull projectiles that would seek out monster corpses and resurrect them with half health. Oh, uh, what are you telling me about that? Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was uh, a little hard to make the physics bit work. And I didn't really try it out in like real levels. But it seemed like it would be incredibly annoying. Holy crap, that took forever. That's the pit. I was stuck in there for years. Uh, my anguish is not on Realm 667. I never, like, released it. <laughs> in fact, I think at the moment, it still, like, spits out a bunch of debug stuff. Okay, well, this is the map. The music, even, that just terrified me as a child. I don't, I don't really know why. This map just felt like really dark and intricate in a way like nothing else does. Uh, and it just creeped me the hell out. And the music is so desolate. Uh, I went back and I, I played through just this map for a stream, like, I don't know, last year sometime. And it was alright. It's, uh, goofy, but it's cool. 
Uh, it was made by Tom Hall originally, but after he was, um, after he departed on, on unfriendly terms, uh, Sandy Peterson finished it up, so I don't know how much of the weirdness is which of them. I think actually that, that early release of Doom 2, uh, from John Romero has this map with totally different textures, which might be the Tom Hall version. Like, not touched up yet, maybe. Hey, this sucks. Yeah, some some large men. Uh, oh, there's Squabble. Spider and a football player. Now I'm just thinking yeah. of them as Charge and Chuck. Yeah, that's really basically our... Oh, yeah, I, I used... Uh, chat says there's definitely a green glowing inside Pain Elemental Monster. Does that like, seek me out? Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't like it, actually. Uh, but, uh, I just used that sprite, um... <laughs> I, I think the original thing it is, is, I don't know, boring. I don't remember. Maybe it's not boring. I shouldn't say that. But it might be boring, which is why I use the sprite for something else. Or maybe I just thought it was a cool sprite. I don't know. I shouldn't be a dick to some just random person who made a thing that I used for a thing I never released. You're such a dumbass sometimes. Sometimes? Hey, yeah. that's not bad. That means not all the time. <laughs> Only most of the time. Oh, that that got worse from some <laughs> real quick. Like this room alone just felt like infinitely large to me when I was like ten. How many dudes? It just goes on forever and it's it's all indistinguishable. And then if you look at this in an editor, it's just like it's nothing. It's just like these three little kind of central pillar bits and then just a wall around it. But when you're in it, it's like, oh my god, where is anything? I think I had like a dream, maybe nightmare about this. Like where the map layout was kind of fucked up and this part was just four times bigger. Oh no. Oh, this map has 18 secrets. What? Yeah. What? Yep. I believe. I can just push E everywhere. Um, kinda. Well, maybe on stuff that's more conspicuous. It's a good start, but not those. Thanks. Thanks for telling me what the game didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seems <laughs> <laughs> we think like Doom. Do what <laughs> Sega didn't. I don't know. This is another map that's fucking impossible if if you start it with a uh, pistol start and don't do it in exactly the right order. Because if you if you start just wandering around, stuff will pour out from everywhere. Huh. Yep, like that. I had to actually open this in a map editor to figure out how to fucking route just this part of the room. Which is really cool, I don't know, the, these little like, fuel tanks or something? Uh, just have a lot of personality. And then another part of this map is just a big empty room, which is so weird. Um, but, but yeah, there's like three hallways in the back there, in the semicircular part. Mm -hmm. Walking into or out of any of them will open one of the fuel cells and just release a bunch of garbage. So you, if you're doing this map with like no ammo to start with, you have to not come through here at all. Oh. For example, you just release some garbage. What the fuck happened to you, buddy? Are you fucking kidding me? You know how I just said that whole thing about how going through any of those hallways release a bunch of garbage? Well, I wasn't really listening. 
That was the secret. I do enjoy this dynamic where where I say interesting things about the map <laughs> to the stream, and then you do the complete opposite of whatever I said. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, it shields itself with with small heads. Ah! No! Holy crap! I spent my whole life getting there. Is this a start? Yes, there's a secret in this room. What? Maybe that'll help. A little bit. I am so cheesed off. Also, you do still have a number of rockets. Okay, but they're fucking rockets. They suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, they didn't protect me from those guys at all. Protect? It's a gun! <laughs> you think it's gonna shoot bullets out of midair? Yeah, it's a. That, yeah! That's what I'm getting at! Well, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. Oh, you know what? Uh, that makes me think of. Uh, there was a mod for Quake 3 called Alternate Fire that gave every gun. A, a secondary fire and like uh, the rocket launcher secondary fire would like shoot a little homing missile that cost three rockets or something um, but like the crappy sort of machine gun you started with had the all fire they would shoot uh, I can't remember what the fuck it's called a little flak or something that would distract a, a heat seeking rocket because it was just a little hot bit of ammo or something so I can't no, it was kind of cute then, go in any hallway well I would not advise it Well, that was a hallway. That, that is? Yeah. What's the point of being up here, then? Mostly getting ambushed by the stuff in these, these little rooms. Are you serious? Welcome to Sandy Peterson Tom Hall Monstrosity Hour. Oh, and all the stuff in that room is pissed off, too, now. You gotta use a super shotgun. It kills pinkies in, like, one shot. Why? Because it's really good. Wait, do you mean why use it, or why does it do that? Why, why use it? Oh, well, because it will it will probably save you a lot of ammo. Although it does really only work well at close range. I don't like this. Nice. That's such a satisfying noise, especially after they do their big fucking clompy hoof thing forever. Crap! Well, don't do that. I already did. You just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! <laughs> Thanks. That's how Toy Story ended. He said that, and then they immediately both How do I go in there? I don't remember. This is a weird fucking secret. There's something about something in particular lowers that fucking platform, and I don't remember what it is. It's something Help. stupid. Help. Help. Oh, that was it. Hit the button. Quick. Run. No! Does it only work once? Oh, no. Okay. That's, Finally. That's goofy. I gotta save my game. That's the cool S. Yeah. So far, you have found zero secrets. You know, you I'm, can't win them all. I'm surprised that wasn't one. None of this is anything? Uh, well, some of it is something. But all these but rooms- But you made it out like this is optional. Oh, did I? Uh... Oh, Holy no. shit, it's a football player. Yeah. <laughs> you! Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't believe that stupid weird double lift puzzle was not a secret. I guess because it was right there, but... So, do I have to do that area? Um, there should be a door at- oh, do I have to do this? A, I give... No, I think that's optional. This music just makes my skin Where crawl. Where do I go? That's a good question. Well, pick up some shotguns. And shoot that man. I already shoot the man. Why was that a secret? Okay, so you do have to go through the barracks. Well, you don't have to. You can pick either door at either end of this hallway. Um, barracks have a lot of interesting stuff in them, though. Also, that middle thing is is a lift. I guess that's not so much a lift as a platform. That's the same thing. The thing that comes down. Oh, there's a um, armor there. Cool. Oh, see, you're good to go. Mm. You're up to yellow on shells. I can't imagine the, the phrase cool S in any voice other than Strong Bad's. <laughs> Did he invent the cool S? Fuck off! Fuck you guys! Holy shit! Nice. Now you're getting the doom spirit. <laughs> fuck everything. God, what a pain in my ass. Oh my god. That was that was a glimpse at like one of the worst textures in the game. Oh you fucking dick. Like, fucking six shells to die. How dare you? <laughs> Who do you think you are? No what? Um I don't think so, buddy. Fuck you. Holy shit. Where'd that asshole go? Uh, I think he's still outside? I say he, but what is the gender of a flying, flaming skull? There's some sort of fucking philosophy to be. Where the fuck? Did it- okay, did I kill it or not? You, I- maybe? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know either. I just know I don't like dealing with it. Why does it always open up? Uh, it opens when you come in or out of the hallways. I think that opens one on the other side. Oh, excellent. I hate this. You can just stop letting all that stuff out. <laughs> How? Where Find, do I go? Don't go down, the, don't go through the three exits here. Leave through the, the front. This? <laughs> yeah. You say stuff like, don't do the whatever, and I don't know then, what you want me to you, do instead. You do the whatever, and you're like, you well, don't give me an how alternative. was I gonna you know? Don't give me an alternative. All right, shoot, shoot these human men. Okay. I thought they were aliens. No, they're they're zombies. Wait, really? They're um they're called zombie men sometimes. They're like their full actual name is former human. Is it just former human? Yeah. But I don't know, they've been warped by demonic forces into I don't know, basically the same but now they shoot you. I don't quite understand the lore behind them. It doesn't make a ton of sense. Oh yeah, this is where you get ammo on this map, basically. It's also really interesting 
Uh, That's right, I got that last time. That, uh, that you just mash to fire again with a super shotgun? Because I'm so used to knowing, like, exactly how long it takes to reload <laughs> that I just wait. <laughs> I just like mashing keys. That's pretty good, too. Oh, there's so much stuff in that room. In there? Yeah. Like what? There's, like, 15 secrets in this fucking room. Okay, I guess okay, I'll Okay, most of them are marked. Like what? A different background, say. Or, um... There's a fucking switch somewhere. Why did... Do you have to shoot that one? I don't know. Is that one? Oh, wait, there's a switch. Oh, you do have to switch. Shoot it. Interesting. Where? Um, maybe that other different background. Are you fucking kidding me? It's it's interesting because like crossfire can just open these fucking things like while you're shooting everybody else. Uh, is chat talking about? Whether the zombie man has green hair or a green helmet? I always thought that was supposed to be hair. It reminds me of Captain Planet. Okay, that was like two secrets, is that it? Um... No. What There's else? more. There's what a else? switch somewhere that you saw. I think it was, it was over here, to the right. Down a little. In there. Nope, next one. I think that opened behind you. Yeah. Got some some armor helmets. He just has a stack of 87 of those on his head right now. That's probably true. Okay, you're hitting the same wall twice, and it's opening and then immediately closing again. So the Arachnotron, I believe, dies in three super shotgun hits or nine regular shotgun hits. Fuck, 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 fuck! I didn't save recently. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Evie! Yeah? I need you to get back to where I was. Oh no, in the, the, in the level that I have childhood fear of. What? You're like 30 something, right? So. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. You can do this? Probably. Okay, fine. Give me a chance to go pee and shit. Here, back. You're not even gonna watch me, like. I already watched myself. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's true. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. <sighs> Come here, buddy. So, I just gotta kill all the dudes in the barracks. No prob. That's short for problemo, which is long for problem. Ow! What? Like, the most mysterious thing about this game is why does it always think, Oh, you ran out of ammo. I guess use the plasma gun. I mean, it is good in every situation. But, it seems a little extreme right here. Thank you. Oh my god, there's so many cubby holes. I 
made really good use of, uh, of that fucking soul sphere. Okay, okay, is that almost everybody? I still hear heavy breathing. Which is weird, they just walk around going... <sighs> which... which kind of itches my throat. I guess when you become a demon, you don't have a need for a throat anymore. I'm I'm giving commentary uh -huh. about stuff. Oh, where'd you come from? You have a gun. That's not fair. Okay. Um, did I get all of the whatever you found? Oh, Jesus Christ! That was a bad plan. Well, I'm glad I completely lost that soul sphere already. Because I'm really good at this game. What are you? Nice. Nice. Got that blue armor. And, okay. So in the original game, this just makes everything full bright. Which makes basically any map look like ass. But this GZ Doom effect is kind of cool. Um, I think I think I did everything. Do you mm -hmm. want Do you want to take over? Yeah, I guess. Oh, you sound very excited about that. I'm not, it's not at the same spot yet. What? But didn't you die to this Arachnatron right here? Well... No. I died to the other thing. Yunk? Okay, I killed it for you. Okay. Okay. I'll take it over, I guess. Excellent. Oh, uh. uh, wait. I guess that means I get the crap chair again. Hey, what if I made some tokens? Hmm. I want half. What? Yeah. Well, I want full. Cool. What? Full those? No. Super don't. Oh, that's rude. Did you find the blue key? Uh huh. Cool. That's the fantasy fit. Oh yeah, that's a good secret. There's another goggles. Uh, that blue key thing is so weird. Uh, it's it's really interesting because it it feels like if I built a little thing like that, my first thought would be, no one's gonna walk up these stairs when there's nothing. But of course, everyone will walk up the stairs even though there's nothing. Walk upstairs to nothing is the human condition. <laughs> I, I don't know, that feels like it could be deep as long as you don't think about it at all. Why does that mean secrets revealed? Just for walking up here? Yeah, well, you I don't know, you kind of ran and did like a tiny, like, one inch jump off of that platform. If you just walked forward, then you couldn't have gotten up there. It's, it's really weird. And I don't know why that's a secret at all. That's nothing. Hmm. Alright, you're doing pretty good on ammo. I killed a lot of stuff without using quite as many bullets. Oh, you shot off, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Mm, mm -hmm. That's a secret. Between the pillars. Is that another berserk? Jesus Christ, it's like three or four in this map. Oh yeah, there's actually a secret in that room that the light amplification visor breaks. Because it is walk over a spot on the floor that is blinking and with the with the goggles. Um, oh, I'm so glad you found it. Save right now. Save right now. Now what? Cool, have fun. Uh, you do more damage if you stand close to him, because more of the, like, 
rays from the BFG will hit him, but yeah, that works. Holy crap! It is actually remotely... I don't know if it's even reliable, but it is possible to kill a Cyber Demon with one BFG shot. Was that it? Yeah. What was the point of that? Um, well, you didn't get to see it because you killed him too fast, but the exit is out the window over there. And if you try to, like, get to the exit, Cyber Demon will wander around, walk over invisible lines, and teleport down into the exit area. And just sort of teleport back and forth, basically at random. Um, it's terrible. So it's easier to just kill him. But yeah, this is another kind of weird, like, almost puzzle Cyber Demon. This one you actually kill, but it gives you invulnerabilities. Huh. Anyway, congrats. That's a third of the way through the game. At this rate, we'll be done. Never. Soon. Maybe in, um, when do we start? 4.20? 6.40? So, so we'll be done by like 11? I don't know. No I didn't way. actually do math, I just kind of guessed there. Mm-mm. I guess this one sort of continues the kind of surreal, just stuff is everywhere theme from like the pit. Did you see what I meant about that, by the way? There's just just things just kind of butted up against each other. The yeah. theme is, is... And it doesn't feel like, well, this is just badly done. It feels like this is almost like deliberate, weird juxtaposition. Anyway, this feels like a continuation of that, but without, without, yeah. without the contrast quite so much. But now that you've done a couple weird maps, it doesn't stand out as much. This, is, this one's by Romero, who did all the uh, episode one of Doom 1 and was big on consistency and had his design rules and everything. Oh yeah, this is also the map that, um, um, if you leave Doom, original Doom 2 on the title screen for a little bit, it'll start to play a demo of the game. Huh. And that I'm demo... I'm gonna start crying, there's too many monsters on this everywhere. Map. Yeah, that's kind of the theme of this map. What? That's an arch pile. Another new Doom 2 monster. It sets you on fire. And then blows you up. Um. Hey. You might have to take this one a little more methodically. <laughs> Sucks. Come on. It's Cheese Ball. Hi, Cheese Ball. Hi, baby. And just sauntered over to kind of always oh, lick my finger half a time. Oh, very cute. And now he's off on an adventure. First. Sure. Oh, um, fun fact the scariest thing about this game is that apparently the arch files. Very distinct dying sound. Um, is is like a little girl going why, but like slowed down and pitch shifted, all to fuck. Really? Yeah. And hearing the original thing is so creepy. But uh, the secret about arch files is they make a big deal of their cool fire animation, but there is a single moment where they actually hit you, and if they can't see you at that moment, then then they don't do the thing. It does not hit. I see. And there's this there's a somewhat goofy looking video on YouTube where someone demonstrates how you can hide from the attack even behind like a two pixel pillar. Because as long as his center can't see your center, uh, it still counts. Oh, there's such a goofy secret in this room. Uh, you see that, that green torch? Yeah, that was a hint. Walk into the wall, right there. 
Ta da, Soul Sphere. Oh, let's... It's, it's just a fake wall for no reason. Also, remember you can save as much as you want. No such thing as save scumming in Doom. Pools. My favorite beer. Nice. I wonder why green torches in here. Mm. It's it's interesting. It's such a like sickly green, and everything here is kind of brown and wooden, which. It doesn't feel sickly to me, it feels more alive than most of the game. And yet... Oh, but then this is kind of warm and cozy. Yeah, so I would suggest super shotgunning his asshole. Oh yeah, also he brings monsters back to life. Yeah, I like that. Funny thing, he doesn't actually look for corpses, he's always trying to get you. But since monsters wander around a lot, um, he happens to walk across corpses a lot. And if he does, he resurrects it. Yeah, so that was Wahai or something. Oh. Is that the first non-secret plasma gun? That can't be. Cool. Oh, that's nice. You can see a blue door right across the courtyard as you come out from there. I bet that's on purpose. Pretty smart. Those dudes are stuck over there for now, it doesn't matter. That reminds me of that one time Cheese Ball went wrong. Yeah. We were just in the basement, and Cheese Ball will often, like, just sort of just go whine in the other end of the room and go, ew, 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 ew. <laughs> but, but after doing a bit of that, we just, one night, suddenly heard him go, like, oh. <laughs> And it sounded like drunk Tim Allen was in our basement. <laughs> oh, that's so goofy. I like over there. Aw, uh, you need keys. Red. Red keys. I can't. Is that a red key door? Yeah. Oh, my toast was done like 20 minutes ago. Well, where the hell do I go? Where? Oh. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> so. What does this do? Um, probably does something. Great. I, I forget. As a professional streamer, I think it would be a great idea to eat something really crunchy right now. Um, are you gonna do that? 
Yes. <laughs> Okay, did I go down there? Um... Wait, what happened when you went through the blue door? I just did the thing. I said, what does that do? And you were like, I don't know. Oh. Wait, look in the middle. Aha. There's a bridge on the other side. Oh, that's really annoying even for me. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Eating right in my ear. Where the hell do I go? <laughs> Wait, what did I pick up? Oh, you got the red key. Okay. So now you can go in that, that door that's in the slime somewhere. Is it slime? Uh, the texture's called nukage. So I guess it's depleted uranium they just thought they'd pour on the ground? I don't know. I guess I'll just sort of stand like 10 feet away so I can <laughs> crunch in peace. <laughs> well, it takes you like two seconds to eat anyway. Okay, so here's the cool facts about this room. <laughs> it's got a skeleton in it. Uh huh. Okay, what do I do with this? Actually, they patched this room after release, sort of. Something about they made this switch less annoying. Mm hmm. And you just ran past it without hitting it. That's not a secret. Disagree. Where do I go? I'm in the red key room. Where? Where you just were. Where? That's not helpful. To the right or down there. I love that fucking weird airlock door. Hit the button. And then what? I think it was the path they added. How? Oh, don't do that. Oh, run, run. Run where? Back. Only I had the jump button. I don't think that would have helped there. You don't jump like six feet in the air. It's really funny when a pain elemental squabbles with another monster because all it does is fucking spit out skulls at it, which then you have to kill, so it's it's also really annoying, but I don't know, there's something charmingly helpless about it. Just meow. Yeah. He's been just kind of messing with a box. Very cute. Did I just jump down there? Yep. This part creeped me out as a kid too. Just basically all the dark stuff. Looks like we need some pest control. Oh my god. 
when Doom Guy puts out his cigarette on his own tongue. Uh huh. He turns into Duke Nukem? I don't know. Is that where we're going for you here? I remember Duke Nukem. Surprise! Oh, crap! Okay. I'm fine. What? Aha! Can you solve my switch and lift puzzle? Oh, uh, I believe I can. Did it. Oh, we solved it. I'm very good at this game. The fuck? Good. There really only. Th There's so many fucking obscure little hidden Where things. I, what was the point of that? They give you a supercharge. You can go back. You can go drop down back in there. Back in the dark area. Where do I go? Down. That's a switch. What is? The big skull head. Really? Yeah. Oh! Congratulations, you beat the game. No. The factory, huh? You have to beat it. Okay, okay. You have won. Your victory has enabled humankind to evacuate Earth and escape the nightmare. Now you are the only human left on the face of a planet. Cannibal mutations, carnivorous aliens, aliens. and evil spirits are your only neighbors. You sit back and wait for death, content that you have saved your species. What the fuck are you talking about? I told you, all of humanity was left on like big old spaceships that would try to abandon Earth. But they couldn't because the demons did a thing. You just push the really big button and let them leave. Let them leave. Mm. I see. Mm. But now it turns out. Yeah, see, they call it the alien base. What the fuck? <laughs> Who wrote this? I don't know. Welcome to Factory. Uh, another very controversial Sandy Peterson map. Is this on Earth? Uh, yeah. It's a little creepy, actually. Yeah, uh, this background is made from, like, I think, I think the skyline might be drawn, I'm not sure, but, like, all the clouds in the background are from the Challenger launch. Oh. Like, people have hunted down all the sky textures from Doom and actually found where they came from. One of them's, like, a photo of, like, a cool fucking... Cool ass. Uh, like, this very green, weird mountain thing in China. Wow. Uh... Alright, my dude. What are you gonna yell at me for? Um, rockets might be really good for all the arachnotrons you're about to encounter. They are far away and don't move. Once they start firing. The whole background is really creepy. Yeah, it just... Like, it's weird, because it doesn't look like anything's on fire. It just looks like everything's... fucked up. I'm pretty sure this is an exile sound effect, too. Did exile use the same sound pack? Probably. It's like an exile spell. I guess, I guess part of the weird thing about this map is how, um, well, as you can see, it's just sort of this outside -y area. What is that? That was a berserk pack, so now you can do a good punch. But all the interesting stuff is in here. Hmm. Yeah, 
And, I don't know, I really love how this kind of underground indoor area is is just crammed into the inside of an of a big outdoor space. It feels it feels like it shouldn't be possible in the Doom engine. I mean, I I can think about it. I can picture it. I know it is, but um, it just it feels like cheating, and it's done very well. Oh yeah, they're like XO like fireball sounds. Oh yeah, I can kind of see that. I don't know the Excel sounds as well as you do, but uh, I know what you mean, yeah. That's that's overly gruesome for no reason. I think that was uncalled for. They sound like like a melting tomato. <laughs> what does that sound like exactly? Well, you just heard it. Mm. This is a cool place. In the speedrun, um, they take the key out of that small room without setting foot inside it. That weird. Nice. Chat just key smashed, and I don't know what we said that was that funny. What? I have no idea. Oh, this is a cute puzzle. Oh, my nothing. This is like copied basically verbatim from Doom 1. Sandy, P Sandy was just like, I like this puzzle. I'll just do it again. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to be in here. And yet. That's very rude. I love the fucking just whatever that is texture. There's a couple textures that are just other textures like wood or stone or whatever. But with that fucking gargoyle face just pasted on it. Okay. How do I... This isn't a puzzle, this is torture. Nope, there's a puzzle. Does it involve walking over there? Yes. Well, that's not a puzzle then. And yet, you didn't do it correctly. <laughs> Looking jump. Hold on, I'll load my game. How do I go over there? Well, that's the puzzle. What? Where did that come from? Are you fucking serious? Congratulations, you didn't solve the puzzle. What are you talking about? Well, you took a, a somewhat alternate route. If you look at the ceiling, if you follow that, then then raised up chunks will come. But but you just happen to stumble upon one near the bottom. Oh, interesting. I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's supposed to also undo the muck, but because you didn't like pull the floor texture over, these ones are still mucky. That's really what interesting. I, what do I do now? Hit that Wait. Button. I don't think that room hit at any point. I think it was just a trap. Did they have a key or something? I'm fucking serious. Nice job. I like this room. It's so weird. And it, it feels even deeper. I just, I like rooms that... Or architecture, I guess, where just stuff feels like it just keeps going down further and further. I don't know what that does. Well, I guess it made some stuff mad. Oh crap. Crap. How the heck? Okay. This music, like, I'm just constantly waiting for the drop. <laughs> this music is so dinky, what are you talking about? I know, it like, feels like it's building up to something. <laughs> and then... It's so weird, I get these, these feelings out of it, I just fucking don't. This music is very goopy. I love that that door texture is just another one, but like, 
offset so it 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 sort of tiles weird. Yeah, shoot him in the head. Oh, what else would I shoot him? A butt? Uh, headshots uh, give you 30 extra points. You're making them up. I am. I figured it out this time. You know what's really funny is that Wolfenstein had fucking points. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably. And then they were like, let's make another shooty game. Hey, who puts fucking points in games? Who cares about points? Why did we do that? Let's try not doing it. And suddenly this game feels a lot like less arcadey and whatever. It feels like Wolfenstein just wants your quarters. Crap. Also, Wolfenstein doesn't have quick save, so it takes like four minutes to save your game. What was the point of that? Gets you higher. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, that's what that did. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize there was a way to raise that. Um, if you hadn't hit that one sort of switch hidden behind a teleport or whatever, um, you would have started out in a, a little plus-shaped room with four imps around you, so tight no one can move. Oh my god. Yeah, but that switch lifted it up so you could just run off of that platform. I think that might be the first non-secret BFG in the game. And it's, oh, just, crap. it's just in this tiny maze, which is actually just, just a fucking circle. There's so many dudes in there. This, this is another very scary kid room because again it was pitch black and vanilla. Mm hmm. We're gonna win both those rooms. Yeah. So yeah, again, it's just kind of four little weird traps. This is this is also the beginning of quote unquote episode two of Doom. Yeah, so that key is close enough to the wall that if you're running real fast, you can run against the back side of the wall from outside that room and grab it. Really? Yeah. Uh I think you're done down here now. Yeah, what a weird introduction to an oh, episode. Get out of here. Um you could drop down in that Oh god. I think this is also a fucking Doom one thing basically. Is this Reused. Do I have to do that? Uh, nope. I don't think so. I won't. How do I get in here? Uh, you could drop down in that one room that had the in teleporter. Here? Yeah. <laughs> How is that secret? It's a hole in the ground. <laughs> Me <laughs> method to acquire secret, colon, fall. <laughs> Listen, I got the secret, okay? I got all of the secrets. Oh, you did, nice. All by myself. Congrats. Where the heck was I going again? There's like nothing to this map, but it felt so intricate as a kid. Just the idea that all that stuff was actually inside there, like in within these brick walls, was magic to me. But it's really? just it's just like four dinky rooms, yeah. Isn't there a yellow thing out here? Yeah, somewhere. The outside is a little underwhelming. Yeah, there you go. I love that just tiny skull texture. Save, maybe. Yeah, that looks like um, a save room. Me. <laughs> it has like the same energy as those, like when people make ZZT boards. That just they typed fucking save your game on the board because you can soft lock in there. This would be a good time for rockets. Or plasma. You can try the BFG out. Huh? 
Chat asks, wasn't this one of the inspirations for my map? Uh, I mean, yeah, I... Well, I was basically making my own downtown, but factory is kind of the, the same sort of idea. Baby, what are you doing? He's messing with something. Of course. I don't remember if these cacodemons can actually escape or if they just generally don't feel like it because they happen to be in these weird lifts. It's a bit spooky. Yeah, it feels really claustrophobic. Even though you have you have a lot of space. Well, the annoying thing is every single one of these stupid, like, chambers has a plasma cell in it, which gives you 20 plasma. Really? Yeah. Like, good? Uh, it's good, but I mean, if you run into them and then it starts dropping, then you can get stuck and you have to wait for it to come out. Cool. God, it's so funny to look at this map that I used to think was unbelievably massive, and it has 71 monsters. <laughs> like, most most maps that I get from the internet and play nowadays have, like, 230 minimum fucking monsters. That's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, I think that's it. Four switches? No, no, no. Oh. You did it. What's next? Downtown? That'll be fun. Comma. One day a break for tonight? Um. Probably like three hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I don't know. What are your thoughts on the game thus far? Um, it's a video game. Okay. I don't. I don't know how to have thoughts yet. I don't know. Have you enjoyed playing it? Do you want to finish it? Or... Um, I might. It's so spooky. Uh... It's so spooky. <laughs> no, it's alright. I don't have strong opinions right now. Mostly, I'm assessing what it has. And then I'll form my very critical opinion. Well, it has it has bullets and men. And a bad guy and a naked butt man. It does have naked it has several naked butt men. Like <laughs> the, you know you know how everyone like jokes about Solid Snake's perfectly chiseled ass? Uh-huh. The Cyber Demon has a perfectly sprited ass. Not true. And it's like right at your face level. Is it really? They just spent a lot of time on Cyber Demon ass pixels for some reason. I'm not surprised. If you think about it, a lot of people like demon butts. Oh yeah, this is called environmental storytelling. The very large arrow you're standing on right now. Just in case you didn't know where to go in this big map with a lot of buildings you can go in. Also, you don't even have to go here first, so... I'm just gonna, like, go die. Yeah, this is basically how I, I play new maps. Wait, really? Uh... Well, sometimes, if I'm like, well, I want to see what this is about, so I just charge. Oh, this is forever. Uh, yeah, Riley, in chat, I mentioned the Cyber Demon was, was based on a model. They did make, like, uh, most of the monsters, I think, um were were based on photos they took of little clay or made out of miscellaneous stuff models. I mean you're not making bad progress so far. This is basically the map in fast forward. Love that. Oh yeah, cool cool fact to end the stream, I guess. Um, there was a beta version of this map 
in in the Romero like not quite done yet Doom 2 release and it has docks like there's a bunch of little alleys at the end um, oh really to the left like way down there and they're just mm -hmm. they're just like dark little and they just end just little hallways that go nowhere but in yeah these buildings used to not be here and this was just docks that just just water that just sort of went off and then oh. stopped this um, is way more claustrophobic yeah they changed it to this which is i don't know kind of interesting but uh, yeah, it's really wild to see something like that. It looks like, what, what amateur hack edited this into the map? But no, that's just how it was before, and then they changed it. Well, that was enough. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks. Well, happy, happy 420. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, all right, bye. Uh, hope, hope someone enjoyed that i did so if you didn't uh suck it i don't care uh have a good night everybody maybe we'll continue this but knowing me and how, how i have started like 74 games on this fucking account and finished zero of them i wouldn't hold my breath but you never know <laughs>